नमस्कार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू टॉपिक ऑन फ्रैक्शंस सो लेट अस बिगिन विद इट टुडेस टॉपिक इज कंपैरिजन ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस टू कंपेयर फ्रैक्शंस वी हैव थ्री केसेस नाउ केस 1 व्हेन फ्रैक्शंस हैव इक्वल डिनोमिनेटर्स केस 2 when fractions have equal numerators and case 3 when fractions do not have equal denominators so let us understand these cases one by one now case 1 when the fractions are like fractions let us understand this case with one story one day mother baked a chocolate cake she cut the cake into eight equal parts raju ate 3/8 of the cake and his sister ritu ate 2/8 of the cake let us see who ate more cake now first let us see how much is raju's share raju's share is 3/8 out of 8 he ate 3 pieces and ritu's share is 28 so now what we are observing if we are just seeing the picture then we can easily tell who ate more but suppose picture is not in front of us then how to make a particular rule to compare these fractions so here both the fractions are like fractions so you can see the denominators are equal so they are like fractions so if they are denominators are equal so unit fraction of both the fractions is equal to each other you can see one part of this fraction and one part of this fraction 28 and 38 one part is equal so we can say that all divided parts of both the fractions are equal sabhi tukde divided parts sabhi tukde ek jaise hain so ग्रेटर द कंसिडर्ड पार्ट ग्रेटर द फ्रैक्शन तो जिसको ज्यादा पीस मिल रहे हैं वही फ्रैक्शन बड़ी होगी सो हियर राजू शेयर इज ग्रेटर बिकॉज ही टूक थ्री थ्री इज ग्रेटर देन टू ही टूक मोर पीसेस एंड पीसेस आर ऑफ इक्वल साइज सो थ्री एट इज ग्रेटर देन टू एट सो वी कैन मेक अ रूल द रूल इज दैट ग्रेटर द न्यूमरेटर ग्रेटर द फ्रैक्शन वेन वेन द डिनोमिनेटर आर इक्वल If denominators are equal, greater the numerator, greater the fraction. So now let us understand another case, case two, when the fractions have equal numerators. So let us consider the fractions half, one third, one fourth, and one sixth. So to understand this case, let us do one activity. So take four strips as shown. four rectangular strips of equal size you have to take now fold one strip in two equal parts and color one part as shown now fold the second strip into three equal parts and color one part as shown and fold the third strip into four equal parts and color one part as shown and fold the fourth strip into six equal parts and color one part as shown so you can see that we are considering only one part means numerator is same so now place all the strips together and observe now in the first strip the colored part is half in the second strip the colored part is one third and in the third strip the colored part is one fourth and in the Fourth strip, the colored part is one sixth. What are our observations? Whenever we do any activity, we have to do, uh, we have to observe something. Yes, look here. As we are dividing the strip into more and more parts, the unit fraction is becoming smaller and smaller. जैसे जैसे हम ज्यादा टुकड़ों में उसे डिवाइड uh, करते जा रहे हैं हमारा एक पार्ट वन यूनिट पार्ट इज बिकमिंग स्मॉलर 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 सो वी कैन से दैट हाफ इज ग्रेटर देन वन थर्ड वन थर्ड इज ग्रेटर देन वन फोर्थ एंड वन फोर्थ इज ग्रेटर देन वन सिक्स 
but here one thing is you have to note that the numerator is same we are considering only one part numerator is same if we are considering one part then the fraction who is having more denominator the part is very smaller so we can say that greater the denominator smaller the fraction jitna bada denominator hoga fraction utni hi choti hogi lekin kab when there is one condition that numerator is same here the numerator is 1 so let us understand uh, let us take one more example mini saw three pizzas on a table in a party hmm you can see the pizza a pizza b and pizza c and she likes pizza so much but mother told her to take only two slices now from which pizza did, uh, did uh, she take two slices a mini ko ek condition mil gayi hai bhai do hi piece lene hain so now she is thinking you also think let us see how much is the two parts in uh, part a it is 2/6 in uh, pizza b the two parts represent by the fraction 28 and in c in the pizza c it is the two parts are represented by 2/4 so yes she is thinking which two parts i should take ab bhi sochi yes she took two slices from pizza c why as the two slices of pizza c were biggest one ye thode bade bade do piece hain sabse bade is yahi par hi hain pizza c mein hi to pieces bade hain why they are bigger as pizza c is divided into least number of parts sabse kam tukde hain yahan pe it is divided into four parts it is divided into eight parts it is divided into six part so jab hum kam part mein apne whole ko divide karenge to hamari jo unit fractions hai wo badi badi hongi So we can say that two fourth is the biggest one. It is greater than two six, and two six is greater than two eight. So now let us apply the learned rules to compare the fractions. Four eleven and four fifteenth. Which is this case? Yes, this is case two. What is the rule? Numerators are same. The rule says greater the denominator, smaller the fraction. क्योंकि हमें फोर ही पीसेस लेने हैं तो जहां पर ज्यादा टुकड़ों में बांटेंगे वो पीसेस फोर हमारे थोड़े से छोटे हो जाएंगे तो वी कैन सी दैट फोर इलेवेंथ इज ग्रेटर देन फोर फिफ्टीन नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड फाइव सेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ सेवेंथ व्हिच इज दिस केस यस दिस इज केस वन बिकॉज डिनोमिनेटर इज सेम केस वन सो वॉट इज रूल सभी टुकड़ों का साइज एक जैसा है so greater the numerator greater the fraction so that means 5/7 is less than 12/7 or so stay 12/5 and 9/5 which is this case yes denominator is same so this case one all the divided parts are equal so the rule says that greater the numerator greater the fraction so 12/5 is greater than 9/5 now 3/4 and 3/8 now you just think which case is this yes this is case 2 we are numerators are same we are considering only 3 if we have to take three pieces only so then the greater the denominator smaller the fraction ye teen piece chote honge ye thode se bade honge so we can say that we can say that 3/4 is greater than 3/8 so i hope you understood these two cases very well so one case is when the denominators are equal and second case we did when numerators are equal and when neither numerator nor denominators are equal i will explain it in my another video so uh, do watch it again and again try to understand the concepts thank you for watching the video